Go ahead, Coach, just talk about this match, first one. Yeah, it's always you know, kind of get the uh, butterflies out that first match of the year. But uh, I think we had a good preparation this weekend in Michigan, uh, playing playing that, that uh, tournament over at, in Ann Arbor. Um, no, it's, I think we, we did what we needed to do and, and uh, played pretty well at some some spots. And uh, But most of all, nobody got hurt. And, uh, everybody's, uh, you know, I think better now than they were last week. So and that, that's what we need in order to be, uh, be able to be successful this weekend. What did you see from like Zelina at number two? Yeah, no, I mean it's it was it was pretty quick. She took care of business. She played well. She focused, and, and uh, I think it's uh, for her, especially since she hasn't had that many matches. To, it was, it's just important to, to keep score again. So uh, we'll be able to tell a little bit more this weekend when she gets challenged a little bit more. Now looking ahead to this weekend, uh, tough matches this weekend. No, for with sure, Oklahoma. man. That's a huge match against Oklahoma. They've got a good team. They've got three seniors in their starting lineup, and so um, this it's going to be a tough assignment. So. Uh, really looking forward to that to uh, to get to know our team a little bit better and see you know where we are as far as uh, competing against you know uh, other NCAA uh, team you know quality teams so um, and then we'll see after that if we can get past Oklahoma um, you know hopefully get a shot at, at the winner of Alabama and William and Mary and, and see if we can get back to uh, Charlottesville to the national indoors. What's what stood out to you from from Zelina? I mean only a couple matches in, but as a freshman, what have you thought of her? I mean, she's even though she's a she's a freshman, she's played a lot of tennis in her life, and so she's uh, she's an experienced player. You can see that on the court. Um, she's, she's got some big shots. She's got big, powerful strokes. Um, I really am looking forward to seeing her develop as the year goes on, uh, as she gets more matches under her belt. But uh, the thing I think her strength this year is, if, if you look up and down the lineup, I mean, it's, uh, it doesn't really drop off a whole lot. You know, with you've got Caroline, you know, our senior, obviously, but. Julia Jones has had a great fall. Maya Kamash had a great fall. Aaron Stevens had some great matches. Um, Milotinovic had a great fall. Iris Verbovens had some great wins. So uh, we've had some different wins come from different spots um, in the fall, and, and that's something that we're going to need this spring as well, um, where we feel like we've got a, a chance to win at every spot against any, you know, any team. If you could point to one thing, what's kind of the key this weekend for you all? Um, it'll be interesting to see. I think that the doubles is one of those things where it's such a – Big advantage to go into the locker room with a one nothing advantage as opposed to being down one nothing. So, I think we've got three really good doubles teams. I think that uh, compared to last year, I definitely think that's a, a something where we've really upgraded, and, and that's you know, Jelena is one of the, the reasons for that. She's a good doubles player, and, uh, but the other kids have gotten better as far as doubles is concerned. And so, I think we're going to win more doubles points this year, and hopefully that'll, uh, you know, you guys have been part of those four three matches, and and instead of three four, you know, that, that would make it four three, and so. Uh, you know, last year was frustrating at times where you know we were on the short end of the stick as far as those four three matches. So, I'd like to see if we can uh, win a bunch of those four three ones. Because uh, you're kind of watching the matches here today, I know you got a lot of power across kind of across the board. Is it something you look for? Is it something they kind of build uh, here? Yeah, I think it's something that we uh, that these kids have developed. I think in this day and age in, in tennis, you've got to have some, you know some weapons, and just being consistent is only going to get you so far. And so. Uh, you know, from a player development standpoint, Coach Antog and I really, you know, try and work on that and try and develop some of these, uh, you know, some weapons there where with a serve or with, you know, a forehand or a backhand or with net play where they can, uh, you know, can win some points and it's not just a matter of waiting for your opponent to miss.